Hey guys, it's Keisha Noche from My World Create. Today is the third video from the series of body shapes. Today I will be sharing with you guys a few tips on how to style the apple figure. So first you want to start off with your measurements. If you're unsure how to measure, then you can refer to my first video on the pear shape where I have a portion where I show you guys how to properly measure yourselves. And measurements just help you to precisely know which shape you actually are. And I have that link right here for you on the screen and in the description box below. So after you have done the measurements, or just by taking a rough look at your body now, you will basically know if you are an apple shape if your ratio is 4-4-3. Four, four, and this means that you have an average to bigger bust. And your waist is less defined, you have a fuller stomach. And your hips are usually the narrowest part of those three. So here are a few celebrity examples that have the apple shape. The highlights of the apple shape are often your arms, your chest, and your legs. And we are going to smash this idea that the apple shape is often hard to dress. I want to share with you guys a few styling tips that fit your body perfectly and make it look amazing. So first I want to start with shirts and tops. The tops that work for you really well are longer tops. Usually ones that are long enough to reach below your hips because it evens out the narrow hips that you have. You also find that loosely fitted tops work great for your figure because it doesn't hug the body and it really just brings a nice even proportioned look. And also for shirts, if you want to bring more attention to your top half, you want to wear shirts with necklines that are V-cut, a deep sweetheart, or like a horseshoe because it brings more attention to your bust area. And next I want to show you guys a few dresses that work with your figure well. Empire dresses are one of the dresses that work really well for your figure. Especially ones like these that are by your waistline, right below your bust, it gives a nice flow to your figure and doesn't show many curves, so it evens everything out really smoothly. A-line dresses also do really well for you because they, like the Empire dress, um, give you a nice, loose, flattering look. Now here are a few pan styles that complement your figure. Skinny jeans are pants that you can wear well, especially since most Apple figures have nice legs. Especially when your skinny jeans are paired with a nice, loose, flowing top or like a peplum top or even a t-shirt top. Because when you wear tops like this, it's creating a nice balanced look and not bringing a lot of attention to your top area. But it's still bringing and drawing the attention to your legs. Like if you wore a pair of low-rise skinny jeans with a fitted top, it would bring more attention to your rounded part or your stomach area. So that's one of the reasons why you would want to wear some of the suggested tops uh, rather than a fitted top. Because you want to balance out your figure. And also for some apple shapes, high-waisted pants help because it naturally squeezes in the body and tucks in love handles. Two more items that look stunning on your figure are vests and blazers. Now vests and blazers do very well with hiding the figure. It really hugs over the figure and hides the belly. Now if you're still wondering or just a little bit confused on how to put these items together, here are a few outfit variations that you can try. Here I put together an empire dress as the main piece. I paired with it some pink jewelry just to add a pop of color. For accessories, I added a black clutch and some black wedges just to further complement the dress. This outfit, I decided to make it a little bit more hip and fun. For the main piece, I'm using an A-line dress, which is gray and white. And then for the pop of color, I'm using an orange blazer this time. And for jewelry, I chose black floral earrings and a black watch just to throw in some contrast, right along with gray sneakers to match the dress. And for the last outfit, I chose high-waisted jeans as the main piece. Paired with a V-cut tank that I would really suggest tucking in because it gives it a nice loose look, especially with high-waisted jeans. And with that, I have a light gray cardigan just to sort of offset the dark colors and the dark gray. And cardigans are really great because it doesn't show much shape and it kind of hides you behind the clothing just like a vest would do. For jewelry, I chose dark purple floral earrings just to keep the dark consistency but at the same time adding a pop of color. And for shoes, I just paired it with a pair of black flats because I really wanted to go for a comfortable look for this outfit. Now, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any further questions or comments, just tell me right in the comments below. I would love to chat with you guys. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel right below. 
Next week will be our fourth video from this series of body shapes, and I will be sharing tips on how to style the hourglass shape. So keep watch every Thursday as we continue our videos from this series. I thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you next week.